what's going on guys welcome back to another video today's video we're doing something a little bit different again we're doing another inside mod on the car but I'm basically going to be putting some LEDs in the boot so at night time obviously when I open the boot the full boot is going to be all lit up but it's going to tie into something me and my brother are going to do he doesn't know it yet but he's going to do it basically we, I've got a false boot floor I will show you that when I'm putting the LEDs in but on the false boot floor Underneath I've got another carpet so I can drill a big massive hole in the false boot floor and I can stick a sub in it and I can obviously get another ramp and whatnot and I just think it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be like a mini boot build so this is gonna be like a series I think of like a boot build but what we've got is right just, just give me a second just give me a second alright so what we've got is we've got a male USB uh, cable and a female now, the reason for actually doing this is because I don't really want to be hardwiring the LEDs in. So what I've got to do, I think this is like a meter long. So, okay, the LEDs have just fell off. So basically, this is just like a meter long. So that's going to go into the new SIG lighter adapter, what I got. And then it's going to feed it all the way near the seat, like maybe under the seat or whatnot. And then, we've got... Okay, that's fell off again. We've basically got some LEDs. Now, the USB on that is actually pretty long anyway. So what we're going to do, we're going to feed that all the way to the back, and then feed this through the side of the seat, like the back seats. And then, it's in a, a static bag, I think. But, we've got some LEDs. So, the LEDs are actually quite long. Hopefully, they're not longer than the back. Like, the back of my seats are metal, so it'll stick to it. You know what I mean? But I think it's going to turn out pretty decent. So, uh, yeah, other than that, we've got that and we've got them. So I just thought it would be a decent little mod video for you guys. And then, obviously, it'll tie into the series of making a boot build. Uh, basically, I've got to try and get a sub from somewhere. Obviously, not in a box, you know what I mean? Like, you can get the edge sub subs. You can get you can get loads. But I actually want to make, try and make a boot build. Maybe get two subs in the boot. Right, so if that's the boot false, false boot floor right there, get a sub there. And maybe a sub there. To be honest, I'm not too sure. But let's go and fit these bad boys. And then we'll see what it looks like. Jesus Christ, looking at myself, man, like a fucking plastic version of Justin Bieber anyway I need to leave these alone for now and then we need to look at them look at them you always need a bit of chewies in your camera right we don't need that crappy bag we need this bad boy so what we're gonna do with this I'm gonna set the camera up somewhere maybe if I can uh, stick it right in the handbrake like this mate it might be alright you know what I mean Stay there. Right, so what we need to do is take this wire out of there. We don't need that. See you later. Right, we need to take the caps off this. There you go. Gold connector as well, mate. You know what I mean? Right, so that's in there now. Oh, shut up. And we'll turn that off because we don't need that. Anyway, so obviously we've got the wire here. Let me get hold of the camera. We're gonna try and obviously tuck it inside of the seat and somehow get round to the back and obviously get into the boot. So it's it's gonna be hard, but I think we'll be able to sort it. So up to now. Right, so I've moved the camera now and obviously we've got the wire here coming from obviously the uh, SIG lighter adapter and I need to tuck it. Right, obviously let's try not to get in the way of this. Tuck this wire. There's so many wires in this car, it's unreal. <clears throat> Need to tuck the wire down the side of the seat. Or maybe under the seat. I don't know. Right, what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna time lapse this now. Obviously, so it's not too long, and then I'll uh, I'll run through you what I've done.
Right boys, so we're all sorted now. The wire is all the way through. I did cut the time lapse a bit too short because one, my camera ran out of memory so I just had to delete a load of things and two, it would have been boring for you guys anyway. So what I've done is basically I've took it out of the sig light. I'm going to put my phone charger in there. Uh, if you... Let me try to get the camera in there. If you look down there, that's I've got a USB slot actually on the car and I've put it in there and you follow it and it just disappears <laughs> it disappears and then basically it comes out in that cup holder over there and as you can see the wire comes through the floor i put it under the floor mat let me get out and show you just give me a sec right so basically it's there it's come under the floor mat i can still feel it there no lights you can't see it comes from there through to there, it's that, that's the only part where someone's going to trip up, but to be honest, nobody really gets in the back of my car anyway. Actually, so what I could do is chuck that under the mat there. It's no good with one hand. Chuck it under the mat there, like so. And then obviously, it's there. And then obviously the wire's going to come through there, come through there from the LEDs. And it's going to sit there. So let's get cracking. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden. I will find a light in your soul. So guys, we're all pretty much done. I haven't recorded as much as I thought I was going to record, but I'm going to show you now how they actually work. And they actually come on when I open the boot, which is actually pretty sick, and there's no keys in the ignition or anything. It's, I think this car, or it might just be with any car, is when you open a door, or open, obviously the boot, see, the, the lights are on now. <laughs> you can actually see them shining. It might just because when I open the doors, a bit of ignition light comes on, but even the dash cam comes on as well, which is kind of strange. So whether it's something to do with like that. Anyway, I went inside and come back out and the lights were off. So it's something to do with ignition. It's getting a bit of power from somewhere. And we have got a bad boy remote for them as well, which is actually pretty sick. They've actually stuck down really well. I'm surprised. I did clean it beforehand. I didn't obviously record myself cleaning it, but let's have a look if they change color. Right, so they're there. Uh, okay. I might have to point it at the box, and I'm pretty sure I will have to do. Well, the little wire thing. Come on, where are you? It, it's down there somewhere. So let's uh, leave it as it is for now. But they actually really do look good. Ah, as you see, they've gone off. If I get my keys out in a sec, they should actually come back on. Why is there a little kid carrying a uh, a wheel trim? <laughs> there is legit a little kid carrying a wheel trim. But the way I've actually fed the wire through is actually really, really good. Now, I fed it under the seat. You can't see it. Like, if somebody gets in my car, they'll go, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of wires there. There is. I've got wires for the SIG lighter adapter. 
I've got the wires for the actual LEDs. What I need to somehow get rid of, like there's the box for the LEDs under the seat, that little white box there. I need to try and sort out the wires in here because look, I did actually have all these wires tucked up like in here. You know what I mean? So they were nice and tight, snug onto the dash. But after time, they've just, they must have just come off, like come out from underneath, to be honest. But do you know what, guys? I really enjoyed doing that because it's something I don't normally do. I normally get my brother to help me out or I ask somebody else to help me out. And just doing stuff on my own now is actually really good. And it's productive, you know what I mean? It's It gets the content out there. Like It's another inside of the car mod, but then again... It's better than nothing, you know what I mean? It's better than nothing. I needed to do that anyway because in the boot, I tried to get an LED light for... What the hell's that? Oh. I tried to get an LED light for the actual light, what's in there, like the light socket. It didn't work. Like, it said it was made for my car. See, now the LEDs are not on. Yeah, they are. <laughs> um, I tried to actually get the like the bulb for the socket and said it was made for my car put it in didn't work i was like oh for god's sake whoa copyright chris brown uh but yeah it's actually a really really good so what i'm going to do now i'm going to show you where i've put the wires i'll show you where i've put the wires and i'll show you everything about the leds the leds in the boot all you can see is a strip you can't see no wires in the boot which is good so uh yeah let's show you it well let's open this bad boy up Bam! That's actually really sick. The only that's where the that's where the, like the connector is. So I'm wondering if I see I'm clicking the button, but it's not doing anything, mate. What about if I click it down here? No, it's not doing anything. But to be fair, that's a pretty decent um, like all the lights flickering on. That's probably the best one I'd have it on anyway. And on about the the boot build. Like, obviously, if I lift this up, well, let's take the remote off there. I've got another another floor, so I can drill a hole in there for the sub. But, you can't even see any wires down there either. So, if I open the door, right, so there's the wire coming from, this, from the USB. It's going straight under the seat. I'm sorry about the car, it needs to clean. Um, it goes under the mat, under the floor mat, under the floor mat, it comes out there, and that's where the USB is connected, right there. So if I... It's still flickering, for some reason. What about if I... Click white, no, 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 no. Nothing's happening when I'm clicking the buttons, but that's the wires anyway, and it just comes up here. And obviously I can tuck that into the seat now. I'll do that in a sec, but... Up to now, it's been a pretty decent install. I'm not even gonna lie, it's been a pretty decent install. And that, that's nothing, you know what I mean? It's just a wire. It's just a wire. But you can't see it, obviously, under the mat. Obviously, you can feel it if you put your hand on it hard. Well, you can hardly feel it, but it is what it is. Let's try. I really wanna try getting these lights sorted. But for some reason, the remote's not working. But to be honest, I'm not really bothered because it looks sick. Even from back here, it looks mad, but I'm just afraid if I put the parcel shelf there. But I don't know whether the parcel shelf's gonna cover it or it's just gonna be above it. So let's go and get the parcel shelf and see what it looks like. Right, so even when the parcel shelf is up, you can still actually see the LEDs. And even when it's down, the LEDs are shining in. So I'm still gonna be able to see the LEDs and it's still gonna light the boot up. Like even when the parcel shelf's up, uh, down even, still shining into the boot, which actually looks pretty sick. Do you know what? I'm really, really pleased with that. That looks mega. Right, boys, so basically that little kid was running around with that Vauxhall wheel trim. He just said, do you want to buy a Vauxhall wheel, a wheel for £1.50? I was debating it, you know, it's a Vauxhall wheel trim. You know, it's, it's black as well. Could have matched the car. No, piss off. Don't want to buy no Vauxhall wheel trim. Anyway, boys, I just showed you what it looks like. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I've got a really bad throat and a really bad cough. <clears throat> but I've just showed you what it looks like. It looks mint. It really, really does. It's a very, very decent mod for the car. I'm very, very pleased with how it's come out. 
And I've just showed you a dirty car. Like, some of you guys are probably like, bro, that car's clean. It's not. I am so OCD with this car. Even if there's one dog around, it's like, get the Uber, quick! Uh, but no, it's come out really, really good. And I'm very, very pleased with it. That's all I can say. Very, very pleased. For some reason, this remote does not work. So, we'll scrap it anyway. We don't need it. We don't need it. It's all right. Uh, but up to now, I'm probably. If you want to see more interior mods, let me know because I really do like doing interior mods. I mean, interior mods are actually pretty sick. Uh, obviously, cosmetic mods. It's it is what it is. I can do them whenever. Uh, I'm basically gonna wash and hoover the car today, so uh, it's got it. It's got it's gonna gonna be nice and clean. It's supposed to be actually the weather's supposed to be pretty decent this week coming up. It's supposed to be like 15, 40, 14, 15 degrees which uh, actually isn't too bad. Anyway, but yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed, guys. If you have, be sure to smash the like button, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a future video what I upload. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Are you ready for